All right, welcome to VMware Explorer 2023. Today is announcement day, John, and holy cow, there were so many announcements. You know, I like that we started off on my favorite subject um, with with vSAN Max, uh, which is a which is just a fun name. You know, and I, I feel like sometimes with naming we get some groans, but with this one. You said Max sounds kind of intense, like something the FDA will tell you not to operate with heavy machinery. <laughs> yeah, we, and we, we did talk about this on uh, Virtually Speaking Podcast. So for those listening, we did get it live today. So there's a deep dive with Pete Keeler. Uh, but yeah, we just want to talk about the announcement here. And one of the things we mentioned was vSAN Max. Where do you go from here if we're already at Max? <laughs> Ultra Max, Ultra Max. <laughs> now with more Max, yeah. <laughs> so joining us on the podcast is uh, two two folks from the VMware uh, from the VMware uh, Data and Storage Cloud Infrastructure Business Group, if you will. But the team that really works close on on vSAN, and so that is Rakesh. Rakesh, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. It's a pleasure. All right, and also Mark John. Mark, welcome. Thank you, Pete. So uh, Rakesh, let's just start with you. Like the big announcement today, vSAN Max. What exactly is vSAN Max? Yeah. VSAN Max is uh, a new petabyte scale disaggregated storage offering uh, from VMware, uh, which provides a unified block file and partner-based object storage. So why do customers need that? I feel like, you know, I, I try to play devil's advocate on these things, but it's like vSAN already provides lots of storage. So Correct. where does the disaggregated part come out? How does, what ends, what use case does that uh, really meet for our customers? Correct. So we are offering uh, a scale-out storage cluster which scales anywhere from 1.2 petabytes to 8.6 petabytes. That, that's a lot. So that's not like something you casually wake up and are like, I'd like 1. You know, six petabytes. <laughs> exactly. And the key value prop of vSAN Max compared to the hyperconverged model is that it allows customers to scale storage independently of compute. Ah, yeah. And um, with this new offering, it actually unlocks um, multiple new use cases. First of all, it offers shared storage to multiple compute clusters spanning over hundreds of nodes. Okay. Right? And then, you know, you've heard of that customer who always wanted storage for blades. Blades don't have direct attached storage. So now with vSAN Max, you can enable all your blades with storage in your environment. That's one. Second, it enables rapid scaling of cloud native applications. So as you know, cloud native applications require the ability to scale horizontally while still get access to shared storage. And finally, you get to save on database and application licensing costs because now you don't have to license the storage nodes for those applications and that results in significant savings. Yeah. But if I could add on to what Rakesh has already mentioned, right, I think, uh, in my opinion, probably the best of even all of that is the fact that you can get vSAN Max with the simplified operations and management model that vSAN customers have come to love with vSAN. So really, uh, the, the way to think about this is you get the best of both worlds. You, you get the simplified management model of vSAN yeah. with the disaggregated storage for that independent compute and storage scaling, and you're not having to have different teams, different management models, different operational silos. It's, it's the vSAN management experience that you've always known. The beauty is the, the lack of need for management, right? The simplicity of yeah. it, being able to just be like, well, there it is. And, then, and so I'm, I'm assuming the, the sharing part of that is equally as simple, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what, what is kind of the go-to-market strategy? What are the partnerships that we're looking at working with on this? What's the, what is the, kind of the additional TAM? What, where are we going, would you say, Mark? Yeah, well, from a partner standpoint, right, uh, being a new offering within the vSAN family, you're going to see us pursue the same strategy we have with the vSAN, with the broad ecosystem of partners, especially as it comes to the ready nodes, getting them certified uh, so that they run really well with vSAN Max. And we are, of course, in the process of working on plans in regards to appliance-based solutions as well. Wow, okay. Man, that, that is fantastic. This has been a great it's been a great week of announcements. This is probably going to be the one of the, the more popular ones for, for us vSAN guys. But uh, John, anything else before we go? No, I I'm, I just need to figure out how to get you know seven point two petabytes approved on my expense report next week. <laughs> Very good, Mark Rakesh. Thanks for joining us today. Thank, Thank you, Pete. Thank you.